Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I am sitting in my office, I've had my meetings for the day, I went out and got breakfast. First thing I did was get up, well, first thing I did was get up and I had a meeting. Then I went to the grocery store to get the cookies for my wife at the library. And then I went to have breakfast. And then I went to the post office and sent back the watch strap that I bought for the new watch that I couldn't wear because it was broken and they never sent me. And it was the wrong color anyways. So I have since remembered that I had this other watch, which is the same brand, sitting in a watch winder in my closet. So now this is going to be the watch I wear and I am actually exchanging the watch strap that I got for the correct color. I don't know how I missed it, but I ordered a gray one. It's like a light gray and I wanted black. So as soon as I get that, I'll put it on here because this bracelet is seriously heavy. Plus in this weather, it's cold as shit too. So, okay, enough about that. I don't think I'm doing anything in the garage. To, yeah, that's not true. <laughs> Who are we kidding? It's not done yet. So I am going to take that empty box that I got that matches the shelves. I'm going to put all of the, like the, for the car washing and all that kind of shit, uh, all the microfiber cloths and all that kind of stuff. The problem with them just sitting out the way they are, despite the fact that they're indoors in the garage, is that they're not really. And every time the damn garage door goes up, 5,000 leaves and a bunch of dirt and dust and shit flies in and it gets all over everything. So I am going to put those into a covered case and put those up there. Then now that my meetings are done and I just have to go grocery shopping, I'm going to go buy more of those like Rubbermaid drawer type organizers for the rest of the stuff that's sitting on those shelves. Because part of the problem is that those shelves are just great. They're not, they're not solid shelves. So I just keep throwing shit up there and some of it starts going down through the, the, you know, the spaces and it gets all hung up and stuff. And then I'm just like, and I want to deal with it. And I just stack something else on top of it. So I've been very horrible, very, very horrible, you know, for as anal retentive as I am, I'm horrible about keeping that shit organized. And then I have to move everything a thousand times to find what the hell I'm looking for. So I'm going to kind of Casey nice at it and, and all the drawers are going to be labeled and I'm going to have shit where it's supposed to go that makes sense. So I will continue to do that throughout this week. I cannot finish the garage, meaning I cannot put down the tiles. I'm not going to bother to try to put down the tiles and all that kind of stuff because of those like gigantic six bags of garbage that I couldn't put up with the garbage yesterday because they freaking showed up so early. So that ain't going to be done until at least Friday. I, how, whatever kind of sign I got to make to, to swear to you all that the damn garage will be done by Saturday afternoon. And I'm saying Saturday afternoon because by the time I get all that shit out of there on Friday, I'm still going to need Friday and Saturday probably to finish everything up. One of the things I'm thinking about, though, is I'm not going to try to hang the acoustic tiles on the garage door for two reasons. Number one, they need to be cleaned. Like the, the garage door needs to be seriously like spick and spanned because it, it's basically that like double sided tape that holds those things up there. And I don't think that they're going to stick to the dirty ass door and they're going to have to because that door is basically what's connected to the outside world. So it's either going to be freezing cold or it's going to be roasting hot. If it's not completely clean, they'll just fall off. And I'm not dealing with that shit either. I kind of have a feeling that sound tile is just going to be a pain in the ass no matter what, but we'll see. Once the garbage is out of there and I have that back area all fixed up now, which I didn't show you yesterday. I'm just not going to show you anything again until it's done. But once the garbage is out, then I can build the background stand and I can hang the, the, like the sound moving blankets that I got to cover all that shit up. So what's back there barely ever needs to be accessed. So I can cover it up with the background stand and then it'll just look that much neater. Again, like I said, I can actually start going in there and working out. I ordered a wall mount for the, the HomePod Mini. So that is basically right across from where I'd be sitting at the bench, which means the music will be right there. Not that it matters. Right now I have it stuck up on a shelf on sitting on some garbage and I can still hear it just fine. That piece doesn't come in until tomorrow. So at this point now, it's about 20 after one. I need to go and buy those Rubbermaid drawer thingamajiggers and I need to go grocery shopping. Kind of neither of which that I want to do, but I got to do it. I got all my shit together uh, and I'm begrudgingly going grocery shopping. Not one of my favorite things to do. Since it's 1.55 on a Wednesday afternoon, I can only hope 
that there's only one or two dumbasses like me that are going grocery shopping on uh, two o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon so that I can get in and get the hell out of there. Ah, uh, that was so pleasant. I was able to walk in, walk right back out. I got what groceries I needed and I'm good to go. I did get all of the Rubbermaid storage things. I did not get anything with a drawer though because of course Target didn't have anything other than like big units, heh, <laughs> giggity, that, that had like three or four drawers in one you know, attached thing. And I didn't want that. So I ended up just getting six of the, of the bigger container size things and then four smaller ones for little shit. And that should be good enough. And then I actually remembered that I'm out of garbage bags. <laughs> I don't know what else I forgot though. We all know I'm gonna have to go back to Target tomorrow, but for now, I got the garbage bag. So I got the big like industrial contractor size ones and that's what I've been putting all that cardboard in, you know, things like that. And then I got normal household stupid ones because I have to have black garbage bags to put all the garbage out. So I'm good to go with garbage bags. Everything's coming together. I'm pretty much sure, oh, Jesus Christ, what a douche. Give me a break. See, this is the kind of dumb, boring shit that like I, I never post. Groceries all put away. I am just going to end it right now. Let me know what you think. If you have anything to say, leave it down in the comments below. As always, thank you for joining me and listening to me rant and bitch and change my mind and talk about the garage and all that stuff. I promise you after this weekend, the garage shit will be done. You'll just, you'll see me in the garage because I'm going to be filming in there, but it's because I'm going to be filming in there, which is the whole reason I'm cleaning it and working out, not because I'm changing it and I want to show you. So swear to Zeus, I'll shut up about it after this weekend. But anyways, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.